Hey guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we are picking up the Rising Brook series. We are doing part two of a few parts of what me covering the entire length of the Rising Brook going from Hensford into Rugy where it dissipates into the River Trent. So I spent today about half an hour trying to find access to the other side of the tracks where we finished off on part one. So I've came into this area, right? There is no fencing no nothing to stop you getting into this section here okay so over here it should be there it is there's the tunnel we were on the other side of that on part one and that's where she comes out into this tunnel just there guys and wow okay this looks to be private land here so I won't carry on past this point but the Rise of Brook looks like it goes throughout this sort of allotment area and then it goes into somewhere over that direction. So what we're going to do is get over on the other side of this allotment and see if we can pick up the Rise of Brook from there. This is the other side of the allotment area here and there's the Rise of Brook just going into that area there. It goes underground here, it goes in this direction to over here where it goes into what looks to be a huge like pond pool area here. So we're gonna head on this direction and follow this big water area around. So this is like one big pool and I believe there should be another two just beyond this path over here. So it looks like the water goes from that pool over there down here into this bit here into what looks to be two drain holes there under here shoots off into this section here so we come around here just like that and it goes from this pool here step here guys okay so now where are you go okay so it flows out of this pool area Brook is just here and it pops out there. All right, interesting place to have a gate. There we go, we're on top of it now. Just there, flows into a course in the zone, it goes that way around. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is get into that direction over there and uh, see if I can safely pick it up again. We just got through that little narrow um, area there and we're now on to this side and we're going to carry on this direction as far as we can. It's only this fence is here but it would have been a lot easier if this fence wasn't here. Because at least I can hold on to the fence with one hand because this is very narrow because you've got an edge there. So I'm trying to stay, keep my feet as close to this fence, this metal fence here as possible. Slight 
awkward niche here. So I'm gonna try and get myself into a safer space over there, guys. All right, this is a lot more easier to deal with here. The handy part of having this fence here is, to be honest, is you get to lean on it as you're walking through. So it's like a bumper. So I'm gonna carry on going up here and see if we can pick up the brook just further on up there. I believe that we, uh, we have two beehives in this area here, guys. I believe that to be a beehive. Wow. This is kind of cool. We've got the rise of the brook going this there, guys. And then right next to it, you've got what looks to be beehives. Wow. That's pretty cool. So just over this uh, shrub bush, so to speak, is the uh, rise of the brook there. I'm trying to keep it to our right as we're going. There we go. Get it over here now. And she flows. comes around here it goes down here and it goes over to there but then the main flow comes around here so I'm not, that must be some sort of a dead course over there right now we just got to figure out how to get over to there so now the brook is to our left I'm gonna try and get ourselves as close as we can ground is very familiar to when we were on part one it's like a load of these here so sort of really like hollow all the way through, very brittly. Not very good at standing on anyway. So that's what you can hear the crunching sound of. All right. I'm gonna do my best to get myself over in that, or that direction over there, guys. Oh, right on time for train. <laughs> but so yeah, we're gonna go over to this direction here and see if we can get any closer to the brook. All right. Getting a bit dangerous here guys because this ground is very soft that I'm standing on I really hoped I could carry on here all right guys we have now got ourselves out of that deadly area that was so difficult to get around so now we've came over to this area right and now I've got a bit of a predicament because the rising brook goes through there and it looks like it goes underneath all of this section here, I decided I'm going to go to the right of this mound of everything here. I'll be very careful. It's one slip, then I might end up in the water just down there. And all these thorns everywhere don't really help either. Wow. So the riser brook comes in over there and it goes down there. Don't know if you can see that. That looks to be some sort of steps coming down from that platform up there. So let's see if we get to that area over there. All right, this area is not a very good place to go. So I'm gonna go back on myself to see if I get myself over to the other side of the riser brook. And then hopefully, if you look over there, hold on to that fencing Things I do to get to locations. Okay, there you go, there's the rise of the brook there. Well guys, I managed to get myself up around that area. I thought that this um, bit of the fence in here was some sort of like a walk path. However, it just turns out to be a normal standard fence there. And we are now gonna make our way that way and hopefully in attempts to uh, see if we get out of this area. <laughs> okay. This looks to be some sort of a cycle track that goes up around there. And there's a nice little building there. It was, uh, I think I read somewhere that there used to be a train station in this area once before. All right, we're nearly at that area where I said I wanted to get to, but I've just noticed this. And 
I can see bricks there, so I'm hopeful we can get down into that area there now. Unfortunately, I now gotta sit on my arse and get myself down there because unfortunately I don't trust these uh, little stones, pebbles and stuff like that because they're quite sort of loose on your foot. And the brook doesn't look too deep in this area. So as I said, I'm making my way slowly down the best I can. Sort of a slide to stand job. Here we go, we're in. There we go, now we're on the brook. I'm not too sure what this is for. Some sort of maybe, uh, if you have a lot of water, it comes out of there. Wow, guys, this is intense. Ooh. You can hardly see where you're walking as well. But I really want to carry on walking as far as I can. The problem is, when you're walking, you're stirring up all the dirt in the uh, water on the bottom, so then you can't really see how far deep it is. Now this was worth the wait. Wow guys, look at that. Okay. Wow. Echo. All right, let's go and do this. Can't really see where I'm walking now, guys, but this is friggin' awesome. It's getting very narrow here, guys, as we're going up. That's why the scratching noise is my bag in the top of this tunnel. Wow, where are we? Wow, whoa. Crikey, guys, just look at this. Look how high it is up to my uh, boots. We just came through there, guys. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I just climbed up there, guys, because that is just too deep for my, uh, my wellies. So we're now up on here. We're gonna make our way around through this area here. We came through that tunnel just over there, guys. And uh, the Riser Brook follows this direction here. And it goes underneath of that tunnel there. So that'll be intriguing to see how deep that is under there. Just look at the brickwork on this bridge here, guys. Absolutely amazing. Does it look deep, but it might be deep. I'm not too sure how deep this goes. Ooh, and we're in. Oh, there we go, guys. Look how fast that water is going that way. And then we come out to over here. But as you can clearly see, it goes through all of that over there. Kind of like it's got his own like curb as well as you as you can see here. Whoa, oh my God, it gets dirty through there, guys. All right, I'm gonna get myself up on the top there, and we're gonna carry on having the uh, riser brook to our left there. Here she is. I must admit that area there is a lot more deeper than it actually looks. And then it flows just around here. Wait, okay. Now that is interesting. We have a water course coming in just there as well. So what is that water course's name there? So I'm gonna try and stand on this. There you go, now we're in. 
Wow, just look here, we've got some stone slabs of sorts there. And then we've got the, uh, we've got this tunnel here where the Risen Brook goes there. But if you look there, that's a way too deep for me to get in. Alrighty then, here we go. Just got ourselves safe now. Here we go, for another tunnel. Wow, guys. Wow guys, it's getting faster now. It doesn't seem like it when it was over there, but this here is starting to take my, uh, my foot away. And if I do this, you can slightly see the ground a little bit, right? Then it flows directly that way. However, that looks a bit too deep for me to walk in, so I'm going to try and get myself up onto that bit of grass area there. And now the brook is to our right here. Looks like we're about to lose the brook amongst all of this area here. Alright guys, we're going to have to cross the uh, Ryzen brook here because just down there it comes to pretty much a dead end and I can't carry on any further. Alright, let's uh, continue on this side. So we're keeping the Ryzen brook now to our left. There she goes, flowing nicely that way. There we go. What do you suppose? That water course is there, and how it goes underground like that. So that must feed into the uh, the rising brook. Oh yeah, it does. There you go. I had to get myself back into the uh, water there, guys. It's starting to get really, really heavy now with the flow here, guys. I can't believe this. This is absolutely awesome. A bit awkward to walk on when you've got like, little pebbles sliding around underneath your feet. But other than that, it's pretty good. What we got here? Okay, I don't know what this means here, but whatever it means, it means it's near enough up to three. If you know what the measurements of this means, let me know in the comments below. But unfortunately guys, as you can clearly see, this has been um, pretty much fenced off by what looks to be the, um, the rail line company here. It's blocked this area off, unfortunately. So I would have loved to have carried on and maybe get right underneath that there. But look at that bridge there. Just under there. That's where it goes, just there. Well guys, I have enjoyed today's adventure. I have enjoyed walking in the brook. I have enjoyed the scenery. And I also have definitely enjoyed walking through the two tunnels and under that bridge. It was absolutely fantastic to see that. But anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's adventure and stay tuned to the channel for part three of the Rise and Brook series. But anyway guys, again, thank you for coming by and always do your best to stay positive and screw those negatives. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, easy bye.